What's up guys? It is time to start tearing into the K-Swap Miata build here. We still have our factory engine. I'm not sure if this is a 1.6 or 1.8 liter. I'm thinking it's 1.6, that's what I've been saying. But we don't know until we get it out and look at the engine code. I don't know Miata as well enough just to uh, know what size engine that is by looking at it. But we are getting ready to yank that thing out of there. I'm getting ready to pull off a coolant line, get all the coolant drained out of this thing. This is our first time tearing into a Miata, so I'm just gonna start going at it. I'm just gonna start unbolting things and eventually the engine will come out. So let's get to it. Oh gosh. Oh, it's down my shirt. This thing must have been sitting on an ant pile in our backyard because it is absolutely covered in little ants everywhere. Actually, all kinds of different species. There's bigger ones, smaller ones, all kinds of ants running around. I've been laying on this thing, getting chewed up. There are spider webs, and who's to say they didn't come from the Freedom Factory? Because it was sitting over there for a minute too. Look at this guy running across. This thing is covered in bugs. So hopefully while it's in the shop, they're gonna starve and we can get this thing out and cleaned up. Alright guys, we got the Miata up in the air here. You can see the custom straight pipe that they did. And I was just kind of seeing how to go about this. My original plan was to drop everything out with the suspension. This whole subframe unbolts and I was just going to kind of drop it all out of there since we have a new subframe and everything anyways. But I'm looking at it now, I think it might be easier just to pull the engine out uh, with the transmission just with the engine hoist and then do the subframe and suspension stuff later So then at least we still have a roller while we can push this thing around because we do not have a clutch yet So I do need the car to roll. So I think that's going to be the best option This rear transmission mount is interesting this brace that runs all the way to the rear diff here But that looks simple enough. It looks like just these two bolts that run through and we'll get those guys unbolted, get this wiring harness out of the way, and it looks like this is a speed sensor cable. Get all of that stuff unplugged, and we have the two side mounts with a nice spider living in there. What's up, buddy? We'll get those unbolted, and most of the stuff up top is unhooked, and I think we can pull it out just with the engine hoist. We might have to move this exhaust, take that off as well, leave the manifold, but yeah. I think we'll go ahead and start unbolting that stuff that we need under here and we're just going to yank it out with the hoist but it is going pretty smooth i'm only in this thing like not even 20 minutes While I was getting the shifter pulled on Garza's Miata, I found some time slips from when they ran it. This is about the only one I can make out. You can barely see that it went a 23.6 at 59 miles an hour. The rest of them are all faded away. This one looks like it was a sub 20 second pass. He was 16.5 seconds to the thousand. And then I can see the top of a one right there, but I don't know what it was. But uh, yeah, I think we're going to be making her a little quicker. I think going deeper than 20 second, second pass shouldn't be too big of an issue after we're done with this thing. Hopefully it should be able to go like a bottom 14 or a high 13 second pass with a tuned all motor K series in this thing.
And just like that, the engine is out of the Miata here. Look some things up. So this is a 1.6 liter and these transmissions are only good for about 250 horsepower. The K-Series is not going to make that much power stock when we go to turbo it one day. If we go to turbo it one day, um, we are gonna have to do something about that. But for right now, all motor K, uh, we'll be fine with this transmission. And yeah, wasn't too bad. Made a little bit of a mess, so I've been cleaning up some. After getting it out, I'm gonna go ahead and push this thing out and power wash the inside of the engine bay because it is really cruddy down there. There's a lot of things that we're not going to need in the engine bay. I still have the AC lines in there. Those are gonna go. We have this cruise control module right here that we're not gonna need. There's this plastic ball that I don't know what that's for, but I know we're not gonna need that. We'll probably be able to leave like a windshield wiper reservoir and some other little things. Looks like it's a coolant overflow. But a lot of these little sensors, I believe we are going to be deleting all of that stuff. Still have the condenser as well. And honestly, one of the most time consuming parts about all of this was just taking the front bumper off, getting to the two nuts that held that on. We're a bit tight of a fit down in there, but got the bumper off. There was a big plastic piece right here. Just got rid of all that too. But yeah, gonna go ahead and get this thing out and get her cleaned up. I think most of the ants have crawled off of this thing. I'm not seeing them as much anymore. Uh, this wiring harness right here, I got a light in there. There's literally like dirt in there and there was ants carrying like baby larva into the wiring harness. I'm pretty sure they were living in here. Like legitimately, this was probably on an ant pile and they made it their home. But uh, yeah, let's get uh, this thing cleaned up a bit and that will be it for right now until we get a clutch here and we can start disassembling all of this and getting the transmission bolted on to our K-Series engine. So we got the engine pulled out of the Miata, got the engine bay all power washed out, got the transmission cleaned off, and we are making really good progress on that thing. But we are actually taking a break from the Miata, and the next half of this video is going to be about the MR2 because we have some stuff that came up with the MR2, and our plans have shifted around with what we're about to do these next couple months. So we have a really big opportunity that came up with the MR2, and I said that after it ran the seven second pass that we were not going to run another seven until we get the cage upgraded, and we are very tight on time, and the cage is a very time consuming thing. The plan is to have Hayden come out, and he is still gonna come out here and help us knock out a cage. I don't know if I told you guys that yet, but Hayden is coming out here to hang out with us, and we're super pumped. And he's gonna help us get a cage knocked out at some point, but we are going to make a couple more rips in the car if all goes to plan as it is. And I'm not gonna talk about anything too much, but we need to make a test hit in the car and we need to go over the car and make sure it is good to go. Cause in the dyno video, we talked about how it had a possible clutch slip or a tire slip issue because the power was falling off or it could have been we were finding the limits of our turbo and we were making too much back pressure and the power was falling off that way because we were trying to you know, make all of the boost. So we might've been starting to make too much back pressure and actually killing our power. Before we start to tear into this thing, because we don't know exactly what it is yet. And you guys remember when I pulled this whole car apart and it was literally an exhaust leak and I pulled it down to the piston and rods out of the block. Um, we're actually going to leave it how it is because the car sounds perfect and healthy. And after we did double check the log, it doesn't appear that the clutch is slipping bad if it was that because you would see it in rpm to mile an hour to wheel speed so given all that stuff and it sounds good we're going to leave it how it is we're going to give it a fresh oil change because we have not given it an oil change since it's been on this new setup we've made two passes and then just the dyno runs and a couple eighth mile hits and then we are going back to the track here in a couple days and we are running it only to the eighth mile. So we're not gonna be running it all the way out the back because the cage still isn't you know, all there. But the plan is to just go to the eighth mile, make sure that it is still running like a mid to low five in the eighth and we're still trapping the same mile an hour that we do in the eighth mile. And just make sure that the car is good to go and we're still gonna be running it at basically full power because we got uh, some stuff to do with this thing. And then after, 
all this stuff hopefully all goes well we got one more thing to do with it then we're going to come back here and get the cage knocked out i'm not saying the mr2 is going to go another seven second pass how it is no promises though but i don't think that's going to happen but it is going to be going fast how it is regardless and we have had to rethink the next couple months because of you know this opportunity you know i've had to rethink everything that's part of the reason why we haven't been uploading too much a main reason is obviously the miata was a surprise so i wanted to save all of this stuff until we uh, get it dropped off with garza when we get the case swap into the miata but we've been rethinking a lot of things i mentioned in the last video when i was driving the nsx that we had a big uh kind of announcement coming up i guess you could call it and uh, some big news but that is actually getting pushed back as well and our big announcement is actually going to be in the beginning of october because of just all this stuff that we had to push around and uh, a lot of it ties into the mr2 here so we need to go over the car make sure she's good i'm gonna get it on the lift and give it an oil change and then here in a couple days we're gonna be taking this thing to the track and just testing it out and then you're not gonna hear much about it for a minute but you'll find out the oil draining on the MR2 here and while I've been working on the Miata Wyatt has been wiring away still on the route see here yep trying to get her knocked out got some updates for you it's starting to come together so got the I don't know you guys probably saw me in the background of the time lapse of wiring everything but we finally got the fuse box in here as well as our relays uh, it's all set up under the dash here and just made a little mount for it it kind of sits up there out of the way and then we got Kind of our breakout deal down there so we have a nice big power and ground lug so that any accessories we add we can just go right off of those and then got a little fuse box a little flasher relay this is going to be for all the lights and stuff and that'll get mounted up in there too and then it's pretty much done i mean everything in the relay box is ran uh so now it just needs terminated and kind of um you know integrated into all the extra little harnesses that go out to everything so it's getting pretty close. Yeah, and I saw that someone commented in the video where we fired the S14 up that we need to get a label maker for the switches because <laughs> I forgot what they did. And it was funny someone commented that because Wyatt literally had already ordered one and it was sitting yeah. on our countertop. We got it the day before. <laughs> yeah, literally we had one because we thought the same thing. We're like, we need to label these things. Yeah. And he started labeling the switches here. So at least that one has ignition, headlights, turn signals, which direction, and horn. Yeah. right now so we're gonna start labeling them as well yeah i was gonna say the mr2 is labeled you could show that one oh yeah yeah we did get those it. on there as well yeah we got those guys labeled up our ignitions ice box and slipper for the clutch yep and then just an extra one so we can label that if we ever use it uh, yeah all right. well, pretty solid now it's time to just give this thing a final once over she'll be ready for the track test day in a couple days and then uh yep. And then it's gonna <laughs> some big things coming can't say or share any of it <laughs> hopefully it all goes to plan because also if we do have an issue and you know there was some serious problem with that power loss on the dyno and it was the clutch or whatever we have some time to fix it so we're just gonna take it to the track and if it's gonna break we're gonna break it then get it fixed and then uh not talk about it for a while because <laughs> we've got a lot of stuff coming up we have so many events and things happening these next few months and after Cletus and Cars, which we're gonna be at if you guys are wondering, we're gonna be at the Cletus and Cars at the uh, beginning of October, I believe it's October 2nd. Yep, October um, Houston. Yeah, it's in Houston, Texas. Yep. We'll be there, hopefully. <laughs> yep, hopefully <laughs> But we we'll plan be on being there, we're gonna be there. And then- FL2K? We got FL2K coming up, we got to fix up the NSX because we're putting it in the roll races. It needs a mid plate. Um, everyone, like Brent and all them, 
are coming here after Cleves and Cars, and they're going to be hanging out with us for a while. And uh, yeah, these next few weeks are going to get very busy. Busy. I'd say right after the beginning of October, right after that Cleves and Cars event, we're gonna have a lot of stuff going on. I was gonna say also. And Hayden's coming out. I already talked about doing the cage and this, yep. so we got a lot of stuff. Tons of things, and like we have so much content coming in the next like month, two months, that will make up for the kind of slow uploads this past two weeks. And yeah. like cool. the reason we haven't been uploading is we've had so much stuff going on behind the scenes to prepare for this, and it's gonna be awesome. It's well worth the wait. Trust. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, should be good. And I mean, obviously, you guys are seeing now. We we waited for the. The whole Miata build. So this is the second video I think on that. Pulling yeah. the motor out, getting the ball rolling. Hopefully tomorrow. Well, it's already done by now. Yeah. So you guys will see. <laughs> you guys will see it. It's kind of it's hard being a YouTuber, man. Making it all line up and yep. getting things done. But we're going. Making but it uh, yeah, we also gotta get the parachute on this thing. Give give her once over. I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video, though, guys. Um, we're gonna continue the Miata swap series, K swap series. Keep going from there, but. Yeah, big things coming up. Hope you guys are excited. And uh, you guys will see tomorrow's upload. And it will be something to do with the Miata. Hopefully the motor going together or something. So, oh. see you guys later. Yes. Bye. Be ready. <laughs>